couch and you see all these empty cans, not empty for long. We are live this morning inside De Device Brewing Company uh, where they are preparing to get all these cans packaged and ready for distribution. Little uh, curious haze on this Monday morning. Um, some 10,000 cans are going to be filled with beer. And I want to introduce everyone to Cameron Moore of the Can Van. The Can Van in its sixth year experiencing a lot of success. Um, Cameron, you've been with them for about a year. Can you talk to us about what we're seeing here? Yeah, so what we have here is we got the cans loaded onto the conveyor belt. They'll go through a CO2 purge so they can get the oxygen content as low as they can get. Yeah, we want that oxygen content really low to make sure that the beer keeps longer, right? Correct. So, and then from there, it goes into the fill heads where we'll pull the product from the product line. It goes through our restrictor place so it fills to our exact levels that we want it with just enough uh, foam at the top of the beer. And then it goes to our lid dropper here. And from there, it goes into the seamer at the end where it'll have, get a double seam. One where it pulls the lid down and puts the uh, can lip up as well, so you get your double seam. And then as we swing around to the other side, that's where the labeling portion comes into play. Um, no, for you, this is kind of a dream job. You love being around beer, and you quality control is definitely part of the gig, right? Oh, very much so. You got to make sure that that beer tastes right, and there's nothing else in that product. Yeah. Okay, so I, people might be surprised to hear how intense this job is. You guys have been here since 6 a.m. You're going to be doing this until 2 o'clock this afternoon, filling some. 10,000 cans. <laughs> Correct. Uh, we usually run can for about six to eight hours, and it's usually like a 10 hour job day in itself. Set up, doing it, and then clean up at the end. Yeah. Big, big process. Cameron, thanks so much. I'll let you get back to work, and I'll swing on over here to Bruce McPhee with Device Brewing Company. Okay, so you guys are doing this on a weekly basis? On a weekly basis, roughly 500 cases a week. Wow. Okay, so where can people find your beers? Everywhere in the Sacramento area. We self distribute all the way to the Bay Area and then up to Chico Butte County area. Okay, so this spot where we're located, which is uh, just south of Folsom Boulevard, just east of Power and Road, you guys have a little tap room right here along with where you guys make the beer. We do. This is the original location. Um, we've been here for what, going on five years right now? Going on five years now. It's exciting because Ken Anthony, uh, one of the co owners, he's actually going to be showing up in the next 25 minutes or so. And he has some very exciting news that I personally cannot wait to share with you about a new location that's coming up um, in the south area of Sacramento. So we'll be telling you about that. Plus, the Ice Blocks is going to be another new home, a new location. We'll let you know when awesome. they're going to be opening the doors to that spot. Um, but when it comes to the different beers, uh, we've got Curious Haze and then you another one that is getting canned today as well, right? Right? Yeah, we're doing the pincushion pills, uh, one of all of our favorites on the brew staff. Uh, very nice, clean pilsner. A very nice, clean pilsner. Excellent work. Um, on days like this, where you guys are just super slammed, busy, busy, getting the beer all put together, there's a nice energy around, right? You, you, you like being a part of this. Yeah, it's a great environment. Uh, we love working with Canvan. Uh, they're super easy, uh, do a great job doing what they do. Um, staff likes it. It's kind of our... It's a busy day, but it's kind of our low key. We're just canning beer. Just canning the beer. And is there anything about the can? I mean, obviously it can be recycled, and it's easy if you want to be out at a pool or a beach. But is there is there anything else about the can that makes the beer just taste a little bit better? You bet. Uh, the can is 100% UV protected. Uh, it's basically a mini keg. So oh, mini keg. the, like the, the best guy. thing for beer <laughs> is to stay out of light, and the can does all that for us. Excellent. I like it, Bruce. Okay, I'm gonna let everybody get back to work, and then when we come back in the next hour, we will take you inside their tap room and meet Ken Anthony, the man behind all this madness. Okay, that sounds good. Bethany, uh, while you're Cheers. there, ask them if they used my likeness for the kid casual blonde ale. Because <laughs> I swear that's me without my glasses. It looks just like a Cody Stark. Don't you think? It does. Get to the bottom of this. The kid casual. Get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I feel like they owe me like a six